Hi, it's Mr. Seward here, and we are going to be looking at the PowerPoint 3.2.1 Elements of Power, and today we're going to talk about mechanical calculations. Now, mechanical calculation is uh, got three steps in doing it. First of all, we're going to be converting this into horsepower. And horsepower is used as a measure of uh, work. And this is the formula for work up here. It's W, which stands for work, is equal to force. And for lack of a better term for those two marks that are to the right of the letter F, um, I'm just going to call <laughs> I'm just going to call those long long L's. And then you multiply force times distance. So work is calculated by multiplying force, that's really the weight, times displacement, which is distance, which is what the letter D is. Um, the weight, the product of those two numbers, is expressed as uh, foot pounds. So W equals work, and it's measured as foot pounds. The next thing after you calculate the work is you have to calculate the power. Now the calculation for power is P is the uppercase P is power equals work divided by T which is time. So power is the rate at which work is done and is calculated as a ratio of work divided by time and it's expressed as foot pounds per second. So that's why they have the small s right there. If the amount of work remains constant, then power and time are inversely proportional. In other words, if less power is used, then more time is used. Inversely, if more power is used, then less time is needed. So power is measured in foot-pounds per second. T is measured as seconds, or it's S. This is a shortened down version of it. This is the third formula that you need to uh, calculate horsepower. So it's P sub HP, which stands for horsepower, is equal to the calculation that we just did for power, divided by 550 pound-feet per second. So one horse, horsepower is the amount of power that's required to remove 33,000 pounds one foot in one minute. That's the definition of horsepower. So to calculate the work that's done in one second, you would divide by 60 since there are 60 seconds in one minute. Therefore, 33,000 divided by 60 equals 550. So the amount of power that's required to remove 33,000 pounds one foot in one minute is equal to the power required to move 550 pounds one foot in one second. So this is a this 550 foot pounds per second is a very important measurement. And there we go. All right. So now we're going to get into definitions or into actually doing these calculations, and I'm going to show you two or three of these and then you're going to have a worksheet to uh, fill out and uh, to do some calculations on your own. So if Jessica moves her 112 pound body up an 8 foot staircase in 2.3 seconds how much work did she perform? Then the second question is how much power did she use? All right, I'm going to show you how to do this calculation right now. So the first thing we need to know is a couple things out of the problem. And uh, let's do that. So if Jessica moves her 112-pound body up the stairs 8 feet. So those are the first two things we need to know. Whoops. There we go. So... Uh, we have to remember 
that uh, the cal first calculation is for work. So that is going to be W is equal to the force with those two long L's times D, which is distance. So W is equal to work. Uh, F, and two long L's, is equal to weight. And then lowercase d is equal to distance. So we know from the problem that Jessica weighs 120 or 112 pounds. So W is going to be equal to 112 L B. And that's going to be times uh, 8. And that's the distance is 8 feet. So here we're going to take 112 times 8. And that's going to give us 896. So W is going to be equal to 896. And this is expressed as foot pounds. So that's our first calculation. That's the first one that we need to uh, actually come up with. First thing we need to know. I'm just going to for sake of clarity, calculate or put that line right across there. Okay, now on to the next part of this. Okay, the next calculation is actually for power. So from the PowerPoint show that we watched a few seconds ago, we know that the P, which is power, my red pen there isn't working too good. So I'll get this one out, a different one. That P is going to be equal to work divided by T, which is time. So P equals power. W equals work. And the T is equal to time. And that, by the way, is in seconds. Okay. Okay. So we got to start doing some substituting things here. So we're going to write out that uh, P is going to be equal to the work which we calculated right up here w equals 896 foot pounds so that is 896 foot pounds and then that's going to be divided by how many seconds it took to do the work now that actually comes from oops come on you the word problem here and we have that this took 2.3 seconds. So I'm going to divide this by 2.3 S, which stands for seconds. I'll turn on my calculator. And I've already got the 896 in there. That's this value right here. I'm going to divide that by 2.3, and that equals uh, we're going to round this, so because it's 0.5, we're going to round this to 390 foot-pounds per second. So P equals 390, and then we got to take our units here, foot-pounds per second. Okay, now the last part of our calculation here is we have to convert our uh, 
390 foot-pounds per second into horsepower. So I'm going to take uh, and write out my little bit of information here. So P sub HP that is uh, horsepower. And over here, we'll start doing our math part. So P, oops, supposed to be a small lowercase h. Ah. So P, lowercase h, P is equal to the power, okay, which is up here. It's 390 foot-pounds per second. So I'm going to put my 390, um, and that is foot pounds per second. And that gets multiplied times that conversion factor. Remember that is 550 foot pounds per second is our conversion factor. So we're going to take that one HP is going to be divided by 550 foot pounds per second. So we're going to multiply these two things together. Now what you have to remember here is that uh, this 390 foot-pounds per second is actually over 1. And then we're going to multiply 390 times 1 and 1 times 550. So I'll show you that right now. So uh, P HP is going to be equal to 300 and 90 foot pounds per second over one times one over 550 foot pounds Per second close parenthesis so now what we have to do is our math here so this is we're going to cross out these units we take 390 times 1 so this becomes 390 divided by 550 Okay, so back to my calculator, I take uh, 390, and divide this by 550, and that's going to give me 0.71 horsepower. So my answer here, when I do this division, is 0.71 HP. So that's the calculation for uh, this particular problem. Now, oops, maybe I'm going too fast. There it is. Now, what they are asking you to do in this problem or in this PowerPoint is, and you can see this is all the stuff that I just covered, is they're take, asking you to do your turn, in which an escalator moves 84 people per minute from one floor of a mall to the second floor. The mall's floors are 24 feet apart, and the average passenger weighs 154 pounds. So the first thing you need to do in this is you need to take that 154 pounds and multiply it times 84 to get the complete and total weight of the people that are going to be on the escalator. That's going to be your F, 
calculation. Then once you do that, then you can multiply it times the 24 uh, feet, and that's going to give you your uh, force or your uh, work calculation. Then they tell you, uh, let's see, people per minute from one floor of a mall. So you're going to divide that. I think it's divided by uh, 60, right? Because there are 60 seconds in a minute. And I'll show you that calculation. So you can do that right now on your own, but uh, I'll show you the, the process of this, this calculation right now. So you take the 154, that's the average weight of people, times 84. That's going to give you an F value of 12,936 pounds. Then you're going to uh, take that 12,936 pounds times 24, which is the distance, and you're going to get 310,464 pound-feet. You're going to put that into our P equals W over T calculation. So it's 310,464 divided by 60 seconds, because that was one minute of time, so there's 60 seconds in a minute. Uh, and that's going to give you a value of 5,174 pounds per second. You take the 5174, multiply that times 1 over 550, which basically means you take 5174 and you divide it by 550, and you're going to end up with 9.4 horsepower. So that's the end of the presentation and the problems. I'll be making a video uh, possibly showing you uh, one more calculation or how to do it involving stairs. And then uh, I'll give you the word problems also that you have to uh, do via the Google Classroom.